It's good. It's a croissant. All right, today we're back for another brunch tour, this time of Querétaro. You see the stuff in the background? That is from 100 Day yesterday. But yeah, we will be walking through a handful of different brunch spots, ordering a bunch of different stuff, getting coffee, pastries, good eggy things. Let's just get into it. It's good. <clears throat> a lot is going on. We've got like a mole thing, some crema. I don't know what that is. Handmade tortillas with some cheese and I think some chorizos in there. Topped with some greens, different cheese, and some what look like serrano. Really good. Atypical for breakfast, but it's good. Passion fruit. It's Marissa's last day, so we're going out to Pia for brunch, get some French toast before she heads back to Mexico City. You noticed in the first segment of Pia, the walls were actually pink, so it was cool to come back and see that they repainted their walls blue here. So after coming back and paying more attention to the menu this time, I noticed I definitely got the ayocotadas the first time with chorizo, and then you can see the tartine yunji got, and then of course the French toast here. I'll take the, I can take the pasta one. Just oh, as good. Ooh. Just as good as I remember. It's so freaking good. Mm. This is gonna really help my headache situation. I just need French toast. <laughs> French toast cures all. So much fruit. Why well, is that orange fruit? I think it's papaya. 
Dutch coffee ice cream. Mm. Isn't that so incredible? Mm, my name. I think I just need an ice cream. <clears throat> Let's go fix me. Super good. Yeah, sourdough is really good. The dill, the cucumber, whatever oil, like that's on everything. The salmon's really good. Yeah, really nice. Very European. This French chest is amazing. <laughs> expected to. I thought it was just gonna be like a Costco bagel, but huh, really good. Can't taste the salsa. Yeah, everything's really good. Do you wanna open it up so we can see? Yeah, so these are the figs. They almost look like pickles. And then the different cheese. This green cream cheese, I thought we were getting garlic, but it's green, so we'll have to Google that later, but really good. wrapped up at Mako Cafe for brunch. Uh, overall, enjoyed both the coffee and the food. We both got like bagel sandwiches, which they're known for. I got uh, bacon and caramelized fig. Yoonji got gouda and turkey. Net net, I, I would go back to the salt. If you're enjoying this video right now, please consider subscribing to help me get to 1,000. rocky start and I'm sure the uh, cars in the background aren't helping we just went to cafe v60 to grab some coffee I got a cortado as usual Yunji got a cappuccino as usual then we walked around the corner to Le Tahomeyer or something a boulangerie and bistro I'll show that right now now we're going to unbox the different pastries we got. We got three different pastries and we'll show you those. We'll eat those, I'll let you know what I think. I'm very slow today, my Spanish is extra bad, so please bear with me. So I'm gonna talk extra loud because there's cars going on. This looks very good, feels good, light, airy, flaky. It's not warm. I think they opened an hour ago. It is what it is, let's see what happens.
So it's good. It's a proper croissant, not like the, it's not a croissant. We went to a, I don't know, traditional, typical Mexican bakery and they had like croissants and European croissants. And the European croissants looked like this, but they're so damn dense. This is nice, light, airy, and flaky, but it is nowhere near as good as the, the one in Puebla. I'll have another bite, then I'll pass it in you. Okay, so I'm realizing, in my opinion, the first bite of a croissant is not the best. So it did get better towards the middle. Super airy, layery. It wasn't as flaky or warm as my uh, favorite spot in Puebla, La Francesita, but very good. I'm going to pan around so you can see this like canal vibe. It's giving Yunji Parisian vibes. So I think that's nothing but a plus. So I'll show that and then we'll get into the next pastry. Pastry two, what do we got? That's not clear. All right, this is the Royo something. I don't know if those are salt rocks or what. I thought you were gonna look at me. Okay, we got something here. Those are not salt, they're like sugar rocks. All right. So yeah, those are sugar rocks. This one's not warmer, but something about the texture is like perfect. Um, man, this is good. It's not too sweet either. I don't like raisins, but this is like, this is so good. There's literally huge sugar crystals on it. And I'm saying it's not too sweet. That probably sounds so dumb. This is really, really good. I don't know, best pastry I've had in Carataro. I'd probably throw this up there with the best I had in Puebla. This is unique. It reminds me of this thing from Paris. I'll figure it out, but the texture is perfect. It could be a little warmer, but this is pretty much just perfect. Wow. Last thing I'll say, it's one of those things, every single bite is better. It's not too rich, it's not too sweet. I could probably eat two of these. Damn, I will come back, this is fire. I might skip on the regular croissant. This is why you always get more than one thing. I asked what his favorite thing was, we're gonna eat that next. It happened to be what Yunji ordered first, and then these were the Royos, and I said, of the two, which one do you prefer? This is incredible. When I first walked in, I saw this, this is what I wanted, I should've grabbed it. Super happy I got it. My day is on the upswing. We've got powdered sugar. Oh. So I thought, wow, this is just a croissant covered in powdered sugar and almond. Nope. So this one is a bit sweet, sweet and rich. This is much better than the croissant, just because the powdered sugar is not too crazy. You get the slivered or sliced almonds on top, but really this comes through. This filling is fire. Mm. I would get this again, but only to share with like Yoonji or another person. No, it's pretty good and sweet. I, I would stack rank the, the Royo, number one, this one, number two, and then the croissant was fine. I probably wouldn't get the croissant again. I'd get this one again if we had coffee. Super tired, fireworks or something went off this morning at like 5 a.m. Gonna go get some brunch. <laughs> Not a ton of choices for coffee and drinks here, but you'll see what I got. And then so many choices 
in general, but definitely for the chile quiles, there's so many different meat choices, so many different egg dishes, and then so many bread specials. Okay. It's a uh, Nespresso, but it's good. I need this to stop being a grouch. And it's almost gone. Cafe Americana, classy, keeping it American. <laughs> We've got some yummy sauces here. When life makes you grumpy, start drinking earlier. the smokiness on the meat. Mm. There's baked or barbecued beans in here. A lot of meat and then different sauces. So here's the green one. It was really hot. Mm. And then some tortilla chips, some like kind of barbecue, kind of kettle chips. Mm. Corn husks, they're right there. Alright, let's dig in. How should I do this? That wasn't as impactful as I thought it would be. Cooked. How's the bacon and avocado? I haven't tried the bacon. Let's see. Oh, super thick. Look at that. Super thick. That's pretty good. Avocado is also really good. Trying the different sauces here. We'll see how this goes. So yeah, loving this chili quiles. It's super unique. The fact that the meat is smoked on here, that's very different. And then the fact that there's different kind of chips. I got multiple salsas, and then they have all these extra ones. I really, really, really like this concept. It's so different. Um, usually chili quiles, they might change the meat or something, but these are probably the most unique chili quiles I've had, and I'd be happy to come back for brunch again or lunch. I think that was one of my favorite brunches and favorite meals here in Caratara. Just the fact that the concept is kind of unique, you know, smoky meats uh, and the execution was so good. I really enjoyed it. I'd come back for brunch or lunch. I'd say prices were good considering how massive the portion was. Uh, execution was good. Flavor bomb, a lot of flavor, great textures. Uh, highly recommend and really, really cool vibe. I'm glad we stumbled upon this place. Nice to not be so neurotic all the time. you've made it this far thanks so much for watching and hanging out if you liked this video please consider liking and hitting the small button that says subscribe see you in the next few days with new videos have a great time till then <laughs>